ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Hidden Agenda. We are picking back up right where we left off. We just left the office and we're coming back out and, uh, what's her name? Becky is about to talk to us, so straight in, let's go. Yeah, I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Nice. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh. It's it's like playing Elaine War again, where it's like, is she is she lying? Her eyes are moving a lot. God, those character models are nice looking. Um, you free tonight? Ooh. Um, yeah, we might be able to go out and talk. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I, what? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. People even call anymore. It's more like text me, WhatsApp me. <laughs> Tell me when you're coming over, so I can Uber to your address. That's what that's what current lingo would be like. A rat trap. Oh, Thirty six yep. hours. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the Very press. Very nice. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer Fuck. who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? Do you want to pull the camera a bit away from their faces? It's very close. Do I look tired? It's been hard to sleep. Yeah, I don't want to be too aggressive or annoyed or pissy. Oh, I'm sorry, I... It's just, this was all ancient history. And staring at these files again, Finn's execution coming up, I, I don't know, it's... It's been hard to sleep with this shit just running through my head. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, hmm. nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them? LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and- My God! Let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target. Oh, the mouse Father traps are the calling character of the pack. The rat trap. Chaplain. That makes sense Las now. Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski. So that's the guy at the start of the game. Hours confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know huh. the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Huh. Interesting. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems. Of Myth. chemical variety. They were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Okay. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. <laughs> you couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Dun dun. Dun dun. Thank you, orchestra. You're really adding to the moment. He says I misplaced evidence. He's got a stick up his ass. Yeah, this one. All I ever 
ever wanted was to get out of this shithole and join the FBI. As soon as I finally grow the stones to apply for training, guess what that piece of shit does? No. Yeah, Calvary just had to stick his nose in it. What did he do? He says oh, that shit. I misplaced evidence. Ouch. Yeah, now there's even a full-blown inquiry. Even when they come up with nothing, it's still an inquiry. It means not above suspicion, and the FBI doesn't want people who are not above suspicion. <sighs> That's some hard luck, Becky. Hard luck? My father was a hero in the department. My first week on the beat, he eats his gun. That's hard luck. Yikes. <sighs> you haven't heard the things that they say about me. Every time I walk into a room, I can feel it. I'm a joke to half of these people. No, I'm sure that's not true, Becky. <laughs> There's no use in denying it. <sighs> I'm supposed to be crazy, right? Like father, like daughter. Becky, you're a good cop. Okay, I'm sure everything's going to work out. Yeah, I wish I could believe that. Oh, poor Becky. She's had a hard run of it. And then she lost her partner on top of all that. That sucks. And I feel bad because I'm the one who picked the hostage over the partner. Though, it probably just say, oh, five, that ten, the hostage 16. died because of me. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. Wait, what's going on? Where and why is this? This is like the cottage from Until Dawn. This is the police. Where Anyone Mike and here? Jessica almost get together. Is that the names? No, Mike and Ashley? I can't remember. Mike, anyway. It looks exactly like that place. I don't like this. Is there another victim? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, what did I just say? God, that scared me. So he struck again. With Finn in jail. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Becky, it's... What? It's not good. The victim. It's, uh... It's one of us. What? What happened? We're still sorting through the mess, but... A call came in, there was a body. A responder showed up. The body was rigged. It looks just like a trap or murder. Oh, shit. Well, that- that one I figured, but who- who was the body? Police? Who? How? It's, uh, it's Calvary. What? No, that doesn't- That's ridiculous! I don't know all the details yet, we're still sorting through the mess. It's- It's pretty rough in there. My god. So Calvary was the body then. Jesus. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. I don't trust him. Working piece together it looks like Calvary was uh, indulging in some private hospitality. Hired hospitality? Yep. Track her down? Uh, just a manager's vague description. Brunette, twenties. <sighs> Great. Calvary's firearm was discharged, full clip, but the only blood in here is his own. And, uh, Officer Montesinos? The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. With traps. <gasps> Fuck. Was Officer Montesino dead? Okay, I have to find bullet holes. I am moving my thing, it's not working. There's the bullet holes. Find a rat trap and a picture? Okay, move, move, move. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I got him! Yes! <coughs> <coughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Dorky found bullet That's holes. Clip. <laughs> if someone cut his throat from behind, why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Huh. Good point. Good eyes, Becky. Oh God. It's really him. Or a copycat. I found a painting. I did it, guys. Is that a camera? Anything? <laughs> Damn it, Carl! Nothing useful. What about the thing on the floor? Becky, I tried to call you last night. Yeah? You didn't answer. I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? Are you... Are you blaming me? I was with Felicity. We were having a gal pal night talking over evidence. I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening with Felicity Graves. Going over files. All night? Yeah. So? You know how this looks, right? What are you saying? Everybody knows how you two felt about each other, Becky. Jesus, Carl. Just be careful. Becky, please. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself! I'm not saying that. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. It's motive, Becky. We look for motive first thing we do. I just want to rule it out. He is doing his job. No, not fuck you. Carl's nice. He's just... He's asking the obvious questions. He's getting it out of the way. And then once that's out of the way, then we can move on to who actually did it. Also, what about the thing on the floor? It's driving me insane! Whatever you're thinking, stop. I'm trying to help you. Yes, yes, I hated Calvary. I hated Calvary, but not like this. Becky. This, this is insane! This just makes things a million times worse. And you're not helping. And don't follow me. And don't call me that. Don't call me Flissy. So is Officer Montesino dead as well then? Shit, not again! Fuck! Oh my god. Are you serious? That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. I, I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move on real good. Let's continue. Bum 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 ba da ba 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 da. Becky arrested Finn, but her partner was electrocuted. Becky was promoted into homicide under Sergeant Riggs. Carl Carter became her new partner. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Felicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. Felicity invited Becky to her home to review the case files. Becky and Felicity went over the files together. Becky told Felicity about her feud with Calvary. Becky disturbed a hidden camera at the crime scene. Yeah, and then never addressed it. Or maybe you just saw it and then you were like, well, yeah, that's obvious. Becky had an alibi for the night of Calvary's murder. Okay, we can continue. See, th this type of stuff I like. I like movies like this. I like stories like this. I like games like this. I wish there was more detective-y type of games like this. Especially like the moody, dark lighting kind of ones, where you get to the crime scene and it's like, who did this? And then like, if, if it all works out and then at the end there's like a huge twist and a huge mystery that you figure out. I love this kind of stuff. Part and now, two. Part two. Of hidden agenda. I'm in it. I'm ready. Talk about some heavy rain. Da da da. You get his reference, his joke. <coughs> hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. 
Hey, <laughs> we are listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. I'm trying to figure out in my head, like, who could it be? Who is the actual killer? Uh... What's the latest on the witness? Excuse yeah, me, Sergeant. Time. What's the latest on the witness? The call girl? We got an APB out, and uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the trapper's hey, MO. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey, I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Anyone has a problem with that, you know where my office is. Detective Marnie, I like Sergeant I'm going to need Riggs. you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Uh, you want me doing paperwork? Yeah, let's just go with this. I don't I don't want to be a bee in the bonnet, you know? I just want to get along. I want to figure out what's going on. And going through paperwork might actually give us a thing. Plus, me and uh, Felicity might be able to have a gal pal night again and go over yeah, our, sure. our thoughts. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. Let's do him proud. Uh, that's not a very nice way to talk about a dead guy. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? Uh, they think I'm crazy. I don't know. It's just like shit on shit. I can't get a break. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Hey, don't stress out any more than you need to. You do have an alibi, remember? For last night? They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Sure you can. Carter. Morning. Why'd you need an alibi for me last night? You really want to get into this now, Becky? <laughs> Just standing there right in front of him like, <laughs> it's so weird. I wonder did the characters see them like that when they're not doing anything? It's like, Becky? Becky, you okay? You haven't said anything for 12 minutes. Uh, we gotta be honest with each other, why don't you trust me? This one. You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distant you have, the better. Why'd you think Sarge put you He's on right. trial work? Don't push me, because I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose me? my head. Rest. Hey, you keep pushing me and I'm going to push back. You really want to threaten your partner right now? Damn it, Carl! Just get your shit together, okay? Don't have time for this. All right. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn... Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. I'm hoping that this Adam Jones just like faked his own death and then grew up to be somebody else, and then we find out it's like the the Simon guy or the sergeant or somebody like that. It could be it could be Felicity for all we know. Um but let's go Back through one by one. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. 
no apparent connection to Las Palmas, Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm going to go see if she wants to be chatty. Oh, we're actually going out on a case. I thought we were just going to go through the files one by one. Fair enough. The Widow's residence. How many hours? 22 hours. It's less than a day now. Oh, no. We need to find this evidence yes. fast. Miss Johnson, what do you want? Um, I'd like to talk to you about your husband. I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? <coughs> I ain't got nothing to say to you. Oh, come on, man. I'm a detective. I'm here to detect. Go away, notifications. I'm busy solving a crime. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at two in the morning to get him to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me, maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right, you gonna tell me exactly what it is you wanna know? Shit, dude. She should've told the cops, sorry he treated you like that. Yeah, let's be sympathetic. Empathetic. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds Rip. like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever used the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mmm, well, yeah, could be. Yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Okay, we have a connection there somehow. Uh oh, who are you? Oh, she knows. Becky, Becky, our girl Becky is onto it. Becky's no, Becky's no pushover. Get him! Get him, Becky! He's going down the alley! Uh oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, don't put me under pressure like this. I need to get my girl Becky to get the perp. I'm with you, Beck. Look at her go. It's not parkour anymore, it's Beck core. Oh, that was a hard one. My phone doesn't have enough screen sometimes, almost. Go, go, go. Get him back. Who is it? Oh, almost got his ankles. Uh, this is 609 in pursuit of an unknown suspect. Average height, dark hoodie. <laughs> Shit, man. Marnie, headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? It looks like Adam Jones may have actually worked for The Undertaker. Wow. Far as I can tell, it seems to be after he supposedly died in that fire. Ooh. That's... that's huge. So he's real. There's more. Someone was on my tail. What? Are you okay? Yeah, but they bolted the second I made them. I mean, it could have been nothing. It's not exactly the nicest part of town. Maybe. I'll see you at the house. Yeah, he could have just been trying to rob your bag. Okay, I am going to leave this second episode here. I know, I know. Everybody wants to know what's going on. I myself want to know what's going on. But let's take our time. Let's peruse through this slowly. We'll get to the killer by the end of it. Don't you guys worry. This is fun! I like this series. I like these types of games. I know I keep saying it, but I really do. I- I just love- I hope that there's a big twist! I hope it's like, <gasps> it was you! All along, I love that shit. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Bye bye, Zorro. Rubbish! Rubbish!
But thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! I gotta go through my evidence and find out who it is. Who do you think it is?